Okay, there we go. I mean, if it's not real, otherwise it's just a misdirection. Eh. Wow. Why? Welcome back to Jeff Makes Terrible Puns and Sometimes Dungeons and <laughs> Hey, it's Accordion Wind Waker. Summary, if anybody wants that. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <didn't> what? <laughs> what? Jeff, are you having problems? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I mean, Discord was real messed up today, so... It was, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Hello. Nope. Peter oh, is just there like, Sunday you'll learn! My Hello. cat stepped on the mute button. <laughs> 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 because he's a jerk. <laughs> How's everybody else doing? How's how's been today? <laughs> oh, the cats is a really Christmas oh. present, and they got their new cat tree, which has three platforms, so they no longer have to fight over the top one. Mm. <laughs> and now I can't get them to come up and sleep on the bed anymore. Ah, I need my fuzzy toe warmers. I'm cold. <laughs> I'm sick. But they tried wearing socks. I hate socks. <laughs> they look cool, but they're feet prisons. <laughs> what? And pants are just Funny. a cruel prison imposed upon us by society. <laughs> Why wear skirts? Such <laughs> your over pants. I'm in a kilt right now. What's wrong with yeah. that? Uh, before you ask. I've been in TJ's all day. <clears throat> uh, I'm yeah, basically just like Charlie Kelly. Yarg, <laughs> kilt. Wait, fuck, no, that's Irish. Uh, <laughs> what? I don't Yarg know. Yarg is Irish? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 kilt. No, kilt or Scottish. Scottish. Wait, no, I'm so wrong. Ryan, say brazier. <laughs> Brazier? Brazier? Okay, no. Okay. Bra it's close. Brazier. <laughs> I can't remember which no, is correct see, anymore. The way, the way to have asked that is what's the weird metal thing that heats up coals that you use for spells called? Is that still a brazier? I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember what the correct thing is. You know, I don't even care. I'll keep <laughs> saying the wrong thing. I know what you mean. It's all good. Yeah. One is like a weird ass bra, Sorry. and the other is a weird chalicey looking thing, right? So last time on Dysfunction <laughs> and Dragons. Thank you. Yay. Um, we fight Rupee, sad face. He was mind controlled. Someone wants our ship. Teleports. It was Bane. He got away. Heading back to Rupee. We argue about vampires. Rupi gives us his flag. He's going to see his mom. Cass tells us about the guy she murdered. It was the Archduke Franz Ferdinand. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people are in the Dead Mom Club, and that's where I ended it. <laughs> a lot of people. Are I feel like those are perfect. <laughs> hey, no, it's perfect. Save us. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. <laughs> There were shenanigans. Is if Sparks is there. Here? <laughs> is <this our> problem? <laughs> what moon were we under? What moon are we on? Silver! Charisma! Ooh. Yay! You said it, Elvis. 
No charisma. So, yeah, minus two charisma. to strength, plus two to charisma. I oh, don't... shoot, I need to update that. Oh. <laughs> Friend is still on fucking Yakutoma stats. <laughs> I get to prepare another spell. We're better at talking here, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can oh, we hey, level up? Well, yes! <laughs> no! What? <laughs> there was no level ups. No, we're just in uh, Silver Moon. Okay. I, I get plus one charisma. Wait, has our proficiency bonus gone up by one since we were last here? It should be a four. Okay, alright. Except oh, that's something the sheet does automatically. Special. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, th those should be, like, normal. The next time we get that bonus, my spell DC becomes a 20. <laughs> Minus 17. Right now. <laughs> but I don't think I have that many... Sp well, I have, like, two spells that actually DC. Maybe three? Technically, technically three. Is there like music whenever you talk, X? I can't. Oh, it's there. I can turn it down. Oh, I'm oh, not hearing anything. It's not that sweet accordion music. Oh, there's sparks. Wait, this hey! one. Hey! I don't I even remember. Music. I've lost the plot. <laughs> Somehow, this is still not our least coherent episode yet. Nope. <laughs> I don't even remember what the least was. Probably the incident with the cake finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wasn't that also my birthday last year? <laughs> Gosh. It's the, the weirdest Bond movie of them all, Cake Finger. <laughs> Negative two to strength, plus two to charisma. As you arrive back in Amanesser. I'm just gonna add plus two to everything. Is that okay? Cool, thanks, Jeff. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that we didn't see any shipwrecks on the way. You did not. There were okay. no random encounters. Oh. Do we have to dive for shipwrecks? Um, we can dive. But it takes time off of our travel. Eh. Or adds time to travel. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I, I assumed that if I had asked for is there shipwrecks, Jeff would say you need to do this to do it, and he did not. So I assumed there would there's, be no shipwrecks. There's an offhand, like, a uh, like I have a whole table that I roll off of, and there's an offhand chance of encountering a shipwreck, uh, at sea, like just normally, like something like crashed on the rocks or okay. debris or, but your chances of finding a shipwreck are much higher if you just drop into the ocean and take a peek around. Yeah. Or maybe you find a dragon turtle. You don't know. Dragon turtle. Ah! Uh, can it be my friend? Turtle proof. Only thing ship, can you right? be your friend if you try hard enough. I mean, they got a dragon to be my friend, and I'm sure I've made friends with turtles. What's the difference between doing both at the same time? Silence. Mass and like CR eighteen. <sighs> I, I was know. I was trying to compose a Finding Nemo turtle joke, but it wasn't pulling together. <laughs> oh god, why did this video start playing? <clears throat> Ryan, what are you doing with your sheet? What? What Get kind of nonsense together. is happening? Ooh. We're under all the moons, Inspiration right? Inspiration <laughs> points for Erica. <laughs> Or get your sheet together. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. Wow. I didn't either. I didn't hear Erica. I what? I always hear you, Erica. Aw. How nice. 
<clears throat> I just can't hear well right now. It has nothing to do with who's talking. No, it's okay. <clears throat> we are all broken. <laughs> On the way, though, you guys do get a telegram. Ooh. What does the old lady say about <laughs> Basically, uh, next time that a friend is passing by the bridge, she's just like, oh, here, it's not for you, but it's got your name on, and I don't know where adversity is right now. What? Why does it have my name if it's not for me? Uh. Oh, holy shit. Oh, okay. Cool. Friend will go find adversity. <laughs> Who's not here, so that's the end of that scene. Yep, that's... <laughs> uh, hello, I am adversity. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's them, though, right? <laughs> You don't know that? It looks like adversity. That was a choice real hard. <laughs> insight check. <laughs> oh wait, that's no check. Her insight's shit. Friends is better. <laughs> what is adversity into that Mev is walking around like adversity? Is he adversity Identity or is he is adversity's thing. twin brother? I wasn't actually trying to let this go through, but I, now I want to see if I can win this. You probably can. You have ridiculous fucking skill bonuses. Uh, okay. So, technically, with I'm using the UA changeling. So, I would have an advantage on that. I'm going to see what happens if I roll normally. Wow. Really? Eighteen? Are you shitting me? No, All sixteen. Right. No, plus six. Still, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are not. <laughs> eh, it was a fun joke. Wasn't gonna take it anyway. <laughs> Friend sees all. I am hmm. not laughing. <laughs> you have the ghost eyes. Okay, I'm done. But seriously, if you want to give it, want me to give it to adversity. No, I will give it to him myself when I see him. Okay. <laughs> I will bring X him. Can we make X make in one episode? Shaka, don't yeah. you dare! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Guppy! <laughs> I'm shouting at you across the ocean! <laughs> no, let's Sorry. listen to this friend of I'm yours, friend Guppy. It's been forever since I'm we checked I'm desperately out. trying to clean up my toys here, alright? <laughs> But without any other incident while you guys are at sea, you arrive at Emanesser with its famed disco light lighthouse. What a what great you... red light. Guys, up to anything in particular? Magic shop. <laughs> I don't think Dahlia had anything to do. Who wants to go with me to the magic shop? Me, 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 me. He doesn't what? like me very much. Oh, so. he doesn't I'll like accompany you. Don't worry about it. I don't he know. might give us a discount if he likes us less. That's part of his charm, is that he hates all people. <laughs> I wouldn't really call that a charm. Well, it's one of those antagonistic businesses where you go in and the people behind the counter are very rude to you, so you're very rude back, and it's a whole thing. It's a family business. <laughs> is that what the tea shop was like? No, we've been there. They're very nice there. Also, they sell a lot of drugs. Gross. Castalia, just say no to drugs. Please. The one time was enough, I think. The last time I took drugs, a revenant came out, so... <laughs> <laughs> Remember, smokers are jokers. 
Well, it's dream mist. You just kind of inhalers. Oh boy. Inhalers or failers. Thing. There you go. Um, you arrive at the <laughs> the lighthouse and find just a simple sign saying "Out to lunch. Go away." No. <laughs> no shit waits there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone oh, have wait. a game set? I got this. I'm gonna take out my thieves' tools. No, wait. No, that no. Already. It's um, it's bad, bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't remember if we tried just picking lock. We tried teleporting inside. <laughs> no, we've unlocked the door the and then tried to walk inside, and then he showed up and banished someone. Right. That's right. I do remember. No, that. I think he banished Talnin. <laughs> she put him in a labyrinth. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, he had a spell called Maze. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> in that case, I have a Ouija board. Let's play with it. <laughs> it's the closest thing I have to a deck of cards in my bag. <laughs> Who do you want to talk to, Castalia? My mom. <laughs> so we all sit down in front of a Ouija board in front of this door. Isn't the mysticism about that that it opens up some kind of gate to a demon that you can't really close voluntarily or something? Oh, we'll be fine. Gorm, Gorm. Well, I'm going to stand about a... 30 feet away. <laughs> Gorm I'll quickly play, takes Lydia. out a yellowed parchment. He scans it carefully, reads it to himself, and then puts it away. Okay, nothing in this situation violates my tenets. <laughs> I just wanted to double check. Proceed. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah. How is don't contact the don't dead? It helps. He's one of the tenants. He was just concerned, like. This is this just feels shady as fuck, so he just alright, let me just check the rule book here. Alright, we're good. We'll follow your lead, Castalia. Cool. Everybody put your hands on the planchette and repeat after me. Bitty bitty bomb bop. Bitty bitty, bitty, bitty bomb bomb. I don't think we need to say anything. <laughs> okay, that's the best the way we start. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, it should move on its own. You have to ask it a question. <laughs> Hello. Is anyone out there? <laughs> you, might, you might want to be a bit more specific. We don't want anyone. Is my mother out there? There doesn't seem to be an immediate reply. Please hold. All lines are currently busy. Jeff is currently <laughs> rolling about five d20s in the background, and we just can't hear it. I don't know if Jeff ever even anticipated that this Ouija board would ever come into play. He should have known. <laughs> I'm expecting, like, a banshee to come out of nowhere. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah. Well, I was expecting it to not be used in the middle of a street in broad daylight. I can tell you that. Much. I mean... <laughs> really? Are we in the middle of a street? <laughs> We're in front of the lighthouse. I could. We could light some candles. That would get a bit of a better atmosphere going. <laughs> Oh, I do have candles. <laughs> I'm gonna take out like five candles from my bag, which is all the candles. That... Like traditionally, you don't have like an open air seance. Um... <laughs> Why not? I'm not? I'm not an expert. It's not something you really do as part of a picnic down at the park. <laughs> Is there a no, cemetery? it's something you do while you're waiting for your mysterious, possibly evil wizard friend to show up at his business. Friend 
friend is a strong word. Does anyone have a cloak or a blanket on hand? No. I have a crowbar. That's not either of those things. <laughs> I mean, I brought my backpack along to carry anything I got, so I have a blanket, actually. Give it here. All right. Four Anyone time, else? Four time, four time. All right, I summon I'm my floating disc. I'm checking my inventory. I summon my floating disc, I throw a blanket over it, and I push it over our heads. So we're just, we're, we're making a Black Friday tent outside this guy's house? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the yeah, spirit the should be should pleased be. with it. Meanwhile, Mev is just going over a shopping list, like, need that, need that. <laughs> All right, try again. In in the time that we're doing this, does the guy show up? Maybe. <laughs> well, you you all huddle around the the board, and the the planchette begins to move of its own accord. <gasps> oh dear. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Does the spell go away? Out. It sells out. Buy something or go away. Is the sign still on the door? Mom, then, is that you? <laughs> And then, like, he just has that cut back to, like, everybody looking at the board. And, uh, Mad Wizard Zeng Fei is just somehow behind all you guys looking over your shoulder. Zeng Fei! That was lunch. Long time no see. What'd you have? I had a stunning victory playing chess. That's nice. Ooh, I like chess. That's fun. Congratulations. And when he says that, he gestures over his shoulder to his presumed opponent. <gasps> Who is that? Oh, hi. Uh, white circle secretary. Representative. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sweet squares. Hi. How have you guys been? Noche tries to be very still so that she's invisible. <laughs> That's not something she can do. <laughs> I mean, warlocks have the ability to do that, but you don't. I didn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> Just constantly like, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here. So basically you're pretending to be a cat. Yeah. <laughs> they just both blink. Uh, wizards can see you even if you don't move. They can do that. Sounds like they can read minds, too. <laughs> we have many talents. I play music and magic happens. How do you two know each other? Excellent question, Gorm. Thank you, Noche. <laughs> <laughs> This is going great. <laughs> she, uh, Seng Fei just kind of pushes past you guys to reopen up his shop. There are only few in this world who can play a proper game of chess. That may be true, but I wouldn't think that two wizards of your respective ilks would mix together. So just kind of shrugs. I have friends all over. Good heavens, if I chose how, like, who I got to hang out with, I would have never met you guys. Uh, <laughs> there he is. No, wait, I'm sorry, that sounded bad. Uh, how, how have you guys been doing? Like, hey, yeah. <laughs> just, just that awkward, try, desperately trying to change the subject. Ran into a vampire. Everyone else has reconsidered their <laughs> offer. I'm afraid not, no. No, she goes into the shop. Oh, we ran into a vampire. That was horrible. Talia follows Noche. Not going to Gorm follows sets Talia. Up, <laughs> sets up around the counter, just kind of pats the big fat cat that's asleep still. 
Did you happen to bring its corpse? No, it got away. No. It kind of what would a... disappoint. What would uh, what would uh, disposing of that particular item cost us if we were to bring that to you? Or what would it pay? Oh, decently. Depends on the condition of the carcass. Do you have any tips on how to cause a vampire to remain a carcass? That seems to have been rather difficult for us. Isn't it running water and uh, the sun? Well, doesn't that reduce... Barring very specific circumstances, the vampire will disintegrate and its mist will return to the coffin to regenerate anew. Only within its tomb can you hope to defeat it. Ooh, do you have a suggestion for how to find that? Not a clue. Uh, Noche nudges Dahlia significantly. I for that. We'll put it on our to-do list. I can do it. Twice I again? Do, however, have. And he reaches underneath the counter and he pulls out like a a rolled up piece of cloth and he unravels it. A wide variety of wooden stakes for the descending vampire hunter. Are they actually squiggly special or are they just pieces of wood? I mean, they're nice pieces of wood. <laughs> I've got a nice piece of wood as well. He like points at his staff. Uh, it works that's lewd. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no! He goes completely <laughs> red. <laughs> Covers his face. <laughs> Starts crying. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. That, that same Yafu Toman ambassador just peeks in. Oh my. <laughs> 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 I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Don't shake. Don't shake dabs at Dahlia's <laughs> face with a tissue held by a mage hand. <laughs> There, there, <laughs> don't be cry. <laughs> no, he would actually cry. That was, that was a joke. And he is upset. <laughs> Mr. Wizard, have you found any mimics? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have not, no. <laughs> I wasn't looking. I could have passed by several. Well, if you find one, I believe we're in the market. Random question. If a mimic eats a magic item, does a magic item just sit inside of it? If you eat a magic item, does a magic item just sit inside of you? I mean, I don't know. That's why I asked. We could try. I don't want to eat a magic item. Perhaps Is that book here? You can eat that. Hey, why are we here? <laughs> Is there something in this shop that you would recommend Mev eat? <laughs> A hearty soup. She's all skin and bones. <laughs> I'll eat that cursed book that's in here that I think you told us, us about. Not serious. Not purpose? serious. Or just did... Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Does anyone know how long we're in port for? Until we get the winter Not gear? Not long, we're just thinking a pit stop, right? Maybe one oh. day. Alright then, you want, really. something off. How many... Scrolls of Darkness can you get me in 24 hours? Three? I'll take them. Actually, you know what? Let me roll on that. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. What will he roll? A D4 or a D6? Okay. D6, but it was only two. Still better than none. I'll still take them. Don't you have several tieflings in your party able to just in will darkness into existence? I am not that kind of tiefling! This is exactly why the Amanasa Tiefling Legal Society, Legal Advocate Society needs to exist. I don't think Addy is that kind of Tiefling either. 
I thought you did exist. Yes, for this purpose! That's why I got the t-shirt. You got the t-shirt? <laughs> it's just, yeah, just like... A it's just like a marker drawing on her shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like a bad cartoon of Noche yelling. Roll to spell check Castellia's t-shirt. <laughs> you got it. Intelligence. <laughs> DC 12. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is the best use of that roll. <laughs> <laughs> Gorm compliments Castellius' grammar. No, she takes a picture. And pen Castellius. penmanship. Even Sierra's like, oh wow, you put a semicolon in there. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, I tried really hard. <laughs> Did we have a purpose other than that for the shop? No, just that. Unless uh, someone else something well what all does he have so we can see if we're even interested is anything interesting oh. he reaches down beneath the counter again and he pulls out like another piece of cloth and he just stretches around the counter it is a very, very fine, very, like, uh, elaborately designed cloak. Ooh. It's a cloak of elven kind. Nice. That's gonna be pricey. Made of elves? Kind of. Oh. And everybody's roboting! Everybody do the robot! Oh no. Beep, boop, bop. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. Of course, the materials in like this are not cheap and seldom ever leave the Jade Empire. It will command a high price. How many elves died to make this cloak? Three. <laughs> it's my check. I believe him. <laughs> Zero elves die to make the cloak. I don't crush Castellius' <laughs> dreams. <laughs> How much is that? 1,200 gold. Anyone down for a cloak made of elf flesh? How much do we have from cashing in the bounty? Do you want it, Castellia? Zero, Not particularly. Because we cashed in the bounty yet. I have passed without a trace, so. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't hide. <laughs> the, the only thing I hide it. from is my emotions. Hey. Look at looks at camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I think, I, I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure it would just make it, it would just negate the advantage that my armor would give that situation. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the benefit of the, the Cloak of Elvenkind is that you have advantage on stealth checks that don't involve moving. Oh, so it wouldn't help Gorm. So that, it, it would just counter the armor so that he's normal on stealth checks when not moving, right? Yes. Well, yeah, no, that would... Yeah. I don't suppose you have the matching boots to go with this. I am not so much a fashionista, no. Well, that's unfortunate. Are you joking? Just look at your wardrobe. <laughs> Sierra laughs. He just glares. What? That was serious. Comedy does not become you. He's not being a comic. That's just how he is. How deeply depressing. <laughs> it's a compliment. I think he's just shy. Anyway. Is there anything else, or was that the major thing? Hmm. 
if I remember correctly, magic items are not very common in this world, so that's probably the only thing that we're going to get from him. Yeah, Gorm was curious about iron stones, but he probably wouldn't have anything like that. It would be expensive. Mostly just asking so we know if that's all our options or not. Yeah, that's that's the only thing he has of interest for sale. Well, if you don't have the boots to go with it, I'm not interested. <laughs> but your boots are already really killing it, Shay. Thank you! How much for just a wooden stake? We'll need that anyway for when we find him, right? Or his resting place? One I think Dahlia has it covered. Can never have too many wooden snakes. From my hands. I, can, I, I can make sunlight from my hands. You can? Yay. And That's why I was trying desperately to get back to the ship. We already had we already asked him to enchant that door, right? That's something we had already done. Yes. Yeah. Uh do we want to enchant? No, there's like five doors on the bridge. Oh, I know what I can ask him. I doubt he'd have it. And if he does, it's probably really expensive. And I'm going to mispronounce the word because I'm sick. Um, Dahlia asks if he has like the... I don't know if he has material components or anything like that here. But he's looking for the sog and like, I don't know if it's a bladder or a gill or something. Right, I remember you mentioning that. I do not have. You just told me ideas. special organ. You didn't tell me which one. Oh, I thought it was special. The... No, you said special organ from a saw again. Oh, it was, it was the labyrinth. I thought right, I thought I mentioned that. The what? Some some types of fish has a special organ called a labyrinth. Oh. oh. So it's not a, it's not gills, but it still allows them to process oxygen. Ooh. I bet mudfish have that. Do you know where we could find these creatures? And if we do, would you like to buy some from us? <laughs> Sahagan are seldom are seen outside the Twilight Sea. That's way up there, isn't it? <sighs> Wait, is that's like the last sea we need to get to, though, right? To hit all seven? You haven't been to the Sea of Dragons, either. Right. Well, we're about to. <laughs> Damn. Um, wow. I was asking. Uh, message <laughs> to Noche. Should we think about selling him one or two of the black moonstones we have? Mm. He could find it interesting, I don't know. Noche will telepathy back. I really don't think we should spread those around. Munir is... Well, I wouldn't say I trust him, but he's a collector. He'd, he'd keep that sort of thing to himself. Hey, uh, real quick, what was the name of that that friend allowed with sand? Oh. Uh, the ring friend had for producing icy environments. Oh, uh, ring of warming. But, I mean, I mean, I guess if sure someone if asked you're... friend for that, they would give it to them. But oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I oh. was just gonna say, since we're here, if we, if we thought those would be useful for uh, the they, Antarctic, they yes. probably would be. <laughs> would be. Don't have any. Oh, Jeff wants us to freeze in the Arctic. He's not yeah, gonna I'm have not his not wizard not. have it. <laughs> <laughs> This is where you see Zhang Fei like s s subtly like pushing a bucket full of these rings like off to the side where nobody can see it. <laughs> the counter. Jerk. 
Hey, oh. we're probably like 90% of his income. He will pitch and want us to live. <laughs> Yeah, but we're also, like, a regular harassment team. That's fair. Some of us are. Some of us just ended up coming in with others. <laughs> Alright, well, if that's all there is, I suppose I'll see you tomorrow for the scrolls? I shall have them ready for your arrival. Thank you. Okay, so if we're gone, uh, I have a small shopping list that we could potentially use. One if, thing. Uh, does that, do we have more than one crowbar or just one? I have one. Okay, uh... I don't think I have any. I don't have one. I have a climber's kit and a grappling hook, but I do not have a crowbar. Oh, you have a grappling hook. That covers already one of the things I was thinking of us getting. Uh, also, you will need warm, like, arctic yeah. gear. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying in addition. <laughs> Which... Where do we go for that? You can get that at uh, Weatherby's. Um, but that's gonna Ooh, be... We get a discount there. Yeah, uh, 10 gold per person and crewman. How many Maybe people we do we have? Talk them into a bulk deal. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I believe like 110. Yeah, I'm going to get the ship shoot up and start doing money but, stuff. But you already have like a 10% discount there. Yeah. Uh, so after those two, I'll assume we should at least get one more crowbar just to be safe. Uh, Jeff, do smoke pellets or something akin to a smoke grenade exist in your world? Smoke bomb, right? It's like a normal item? Oh, the ninjas have them. Actually, yeah, they did, didn't they? They do? I don't think I have, like, any specific, uh, player version of it, though. Uh, there's... Smoke grenades exist in the D&D &D, uh, equipment. Remind me about that, and I will get back to you on it. Uh, okay. Well, potentially that, if that exists. Um, I would like 2,000 ball bearings. And then replacement caltrops for the ones we lost in the blue... In Yafutoma. And then a hooded lantern for myself, because I can't see in the dark. And it would be nice to be able to lower the, like, light that I put out instead of just doing a light spell where we're a beacon. Um, when You're in the store talking to a gnome and he's just like, Sha thing, 2,000 ball bearings coming right up. One, <laughs> two, three, four, Ooh, I have five. ball bearings. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, uh, winter gear for everybody on the ship. NPCs and PCs is uh, 1,130 gold uh, with a 10% discount. Yes. Uh, I also have Caltrops. Not, I don't remember what a Caltrop is, but I have some. The spiky. Yes, the pointy things that you step on and they go, ouchie. Oh, Legos. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, Legos is Legos about... Legos or D4 is one of the two. Or Hex. both. Yes. If you're doing the math for the winter gear, can you double the amount for the main crew, like our party? Like, get double what we need. Um, yeah. Do we have a heating system installed on the ship? We don't, right? That's not a thing? No. Yeah. Oh, really? There's no heat on the ship. Like there's there's heating systems, but it's not like enough. It it doesn't keep like anyone outside the ship warm. It's good backup gear. Like it's. Yeah. My brain isn't even working tonight. This is terrible. What did I need? 
What did I need the... What did I need? Parts of the ship have better heat than others as well. So if you're closer to the engines, the ship is warmer. If you're like further away, then it can be like tremendously cold. Everybody's gonna be bunking up with somebody else. Dahlia's observatory. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Um, How does he have resistance to cold? I don't I think he does. I just took off the money for winter gear for everybody, plus two winter gears for main characters. <laughs> um, so that's done. Uh, what else? Um, does anyone have an idea what you could tie t tie with a hempen rope to throw onto something in case we maybe want to use that to trigger some kind of pressure plate? Trap if we run into anything like that. Break. The uh, the traditional thing there is like a ten foot pole. Mhm. Yeah, I just didn't know how the fuck we would really carry that around easily. Collapsible. We have a bag of holding. That's right. Jaya can make it happen. Is there an what? item called a collapsible rod? Can't you? Can't you make, um, your wood get bigger? <laughs> Dolly goes home. <laughs> Lissa goes with her. <laughs> like, back to her home. They just jump on the spaceship and they take off and they leave the solar system. Whoosh! <laughs> Bye, guys! I don't want to be on this planet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, other than that, dynamite? Ooh, good idea. I was like, dynamite bench. I mean, you can never have too much dynamite until it starts blowing up. Oh, you've it's heard that boring. dwarven expression. <laughs> oh, that's dwarven? I never knew where it was from. I just heard it. Remember, if you ever see a dwarven riddle saying, speak, friend, and answer, the answer is use dynamite to blow up the wall. Dynamite is a dwarf's best friend. Oh. So um, most is writing this down. Go. If you're ever traveling over land and the wheel falls off your cart, use dynamite to launch your goods. Back to Blow the up another carriage and then take its wheels. <laughs> if they aren't damaged first. <laughs> <laughs> well, you blow up the horses. Do we need Probably. to worry about, like, getting a shit ton of rations? <laughs> or are we not worrying about that? Food couldn't hurt. Oh, I also need a, I also need powdered silver so I can do a ceremony spell, if that ever comes up. I just had a weird thought. I, I don't know. This is probably if pretty. You can hydrate relevant. the silver. You can have silver pudding. What? Yeah, that was it. You, yeah, that was it. Yeah. How much silver do you need? Twenty-five gold worth. Noche hands Mev two hundred and fifty silver. Is that for everything I mentioned, or just the silver? Just for your silver! Okay. I ha- I'm- I'm making sure. I don't think any of my spells really need anything too fancy. Why did I X out of the couch a bit? <laughs> uh, Jeff, do you want me to send the little page about the smoke grenade thing? Please. Hold up, I gotta find it. You know, I'm just gonna type in smoke. On the water. Burner. I don't remember how the guitar line goes. For shame, sir. <laughs> um, if you send me totals for the amounts of whatever you're getting, I will subtract them accordingly. We should probably also get more potions here while we're here. Does everyone have potions still? I have no potions. Yeah. At, at least everyone should have at least one potion. I'll check. I can't remember. I have 
Um, a love potion. A, a real, well, a, a potion potion, you know. It is a potion. It says love. It says potion on the back. On the a, a healing potion. Are you saying love what? can't what? heal? Why is it spelled L U V? I'm joking. This is poison. Uh, is it just <laughs> water? Oh no! There's just there's I put I put poison in it. You're horrible. Terrifying. Do you think that we could convince Beleza to slip it to Galcian? <laughs> Somehow I don't think that'll work. It might. It might. I could. I could mail it to her right now. Uh, Jeff, you question. Have her address? I don't need it. <laughs> Uh, Jeff, question. Do I need the material components for the Cly Flute spells? If they require, like, gold or anything? Or since it's Cly Flute, do I ignore that? Um, if they require gold, I believe you still do. Okay, then yeah, I need that silver. That's how I cast protection from evil and good. Oh shit, that requires an amount of silver? That requires powdered silk. No, it requires holy water, I think, but I need the silver in order to get, in order to make holy water myself through ceremony, and... Does the holy water have a gold cost? Yes, 25 gold. Oh, okay. It costs the same as the powdered silver, so I may as well have it for the general ceremony spell. Can we just get holy water somewhere? Yeah, I think. I mean, I don't know, this is... Actually, very... wait, yeah. Temple heavy game. God? <laughs> yes, A flask of holy water is 25 gold. Yikes. It's the same as the silver. So yes. honestly, if I got like three of that and then... <laughs> if I got three of that and then the rest in... Ceremony, we could do a bit. Because I won't need protection from evil and good a lot, I imagine. Well, I can give you a little more silver, but it's not quite enough to make another amount of holy water that you need. What can I even do with uh, ceremony? You could... I can bless I water. Think... I can do a marriage I can do a funeral and make someone not be able to become undead for like seven days atonement oh if someone becomes really evil I can touch them and make them back to how they used to be <gasps> yes Atonement. Let's get. Oh, spells. and it uses a spell that I'm. Pro and it uses a skill I'm proficient in, <laughs> or expertise oh my in. God. Am I an idiot? God damn it! I'm an idiot. I just handed you a bunch of electrum. God damn it! <laughs> Wait, what? I, know, I was thinking. Oh, I'll just hand you a bunch of silver coins, and you can. Turn it into powder or whatever. I don't have 250 go silver. I have 250 electrum. God damn it. Oh, I thought you were handing money to buy silver. No, I just handed you silver. No, you just need the silver. I need powdered <laughs> silver, though. Are you then powder it. <laughs> Let's ruin the world economy. Let's go. All right, never mind. You don't have 250 silver because I don't have 250 silver. Well, then we'll just buy the powdered shit with however much you want. If it's not like a one-to-one, -one, here, have the raw materials and make it yourself. Jeff, just, just so you know, you're muted. Down. You've, like, been muted this whole time. Anything. Oh, okay. Well, Jeff, is there holy water? Just, can you yeah, buy holy water? Yeah. It's okay. on like, the standard item list. 
do you want silver anyway for some of the other purposes for that ritual? E yeah. In, in case we ever need a funeral for anyone who has the potential to become uh, undead. Since when could you do that anyway? Ceremony? Uh, that's, uh, when I got magic from the thing I worship, I was able to do this just automatically. Like... The thing you worship? Yeah, the traveler. You really gonna call her out for that one? Wait, you knew about this already. No, she didn't. You did this after she left. <laughs> no? I think I did yep. it just before you left. Nope. No, did it after she left. Oh. Oh. I, th I think this happened literally around the same time you left then. Hmm. Uh, I worship a deity. I assume they exist. I believe that they exist. I... Well, we can only assume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it either comes from a deity or the moon. a moon is representing the deity. I don't know. You said it was a trickster god, right? Yeah. What moon? I don't know. I'm theorizing, like, if... If my god didn't exist for some reason, then I guess it would be a moon that kind of represents those same ideals. I don't know which. <laughs> They're like minor, minor, minor deities that exist and people worship. Yeah, it's a minor deity. But like, like in a uh, Ixataka, people would worship the uh, the the Gigas there because it was just really, really big. Ooh. Oh, that's right. And in um, Yapatoma, they same thing basically. Revered the Emperor, who tried yeah. the Gigas. I can firmly say I'm not worshipping the Gigas, though. <laughs> can you? Uh, e unless the next Gigas we find is a person with a giant green cloak, which is called the Traveler, then no. And your ancestor? <laughs> yeah, technically. Er, no. I, I don't have his DNA, it's just blessing for, uh changelings in general his what okay i have to go through the whole changeling creation story again sorry no sorry oh sorry. this is a good story no Gorm, no, Gorm. his dna i think was the interesting part of that sentence yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is 1890 <laughs> <coughs> i'm dying i'm dying what's a, what's a dinner <laughs> dinner <laughs> let's get some dinner now Long story short, hey. traveling. <laughs> X, you made a pun. I'm so proud of you. What? Why? Because <laughs> you don't make them. Long story short, Noche, Traveler uh, used his magical cloak to hide children from a mother's political enemies, and then we were changed into changelings. Yep. Uh, he likes to do pranks on people, and they can be either harmless or harmful, but... Yeah. <laughs> Overall, I'd say he's probably a cool guy. Have you ever had a chat with him? Sadly, no. That's would a higher like level. I would love to. Can you do that? Can you I do that? Try. <gasps> no, she can do anything. Wow! Uh, he... So cool. er, the thing about him is, does that spell specifically go for things in other planes of existence? It's specifically used to contact another plane. He might not be there because he likes to fuck around in the real world? Well, it's worth a shot. Write down some questions, and we'll get to it at some point. I don't even think I would have a sufficient question other than fangirling over him. <laughs> that's a mood. I mean, that's very valid. 
it's, or it's, just it's... breaking down and not being able to operate because holy shit. Well, that's why it's good to write down your thoughts beforehand, and then you can just read off the script. It's just extra dimensional Beatlemania. <laughs> <laughs> what? I. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just let me know how much you're getting of what. Uh. Let's do three holy waters and. Okay. That's 75, right? Let's. For yeah, for gold. And then. <laughs> 100 gold worth of powdered silver? Okay. Um, a thousand ball bearings. How much is that in gold? <laughs> I think that's an... No, I don't remember. It might be 25. Or 25 for a thousand? How many, how many? Oh, wait, no, it's gold. It's one gold. Wow. Get 10,000. <laughs> We just have 10,000 ball bearings constantly just... I, I can't make metal noises. Oh, <laughs> and man, I feel really sad. Be a negative to stealth right there. Alright, I, I have subtracted... Well, I'm not subtracting yet, but I've added 10,000 ball bearings worth of gold to <laughs> our growing price of all of our goods. So there is no... 10,000 ball bearings to <laughs> <laughs> I am not taking all of those along with me at once. Well, we can each have a thousand, and then there'll be some extra. Load the ball up in a cannon and fire them at enemy ships. <laughs> What's your ruling on the smoke grenade, Jeff? Uh, ten gold each. It would probably be more of an annoyance than anything. What the fuck was that? Haha, -ha, you did no damage. Ah! <laughs> Do we want to get two smoke grenades? That way, if we need to just run, we can potentially obscure our running. Uh, I can obscure. It's just you don't want to be inside the part that's being obscured. Yeah, I'm saying, like, potentially running through the part or maybe hiding inside the smoke. It should cover about... How much? It should cover, cover 40 feet end to end. In a circle around us. And last about... 24 oh. seconds. Yeah. While we're... Prepping for this... Um... Gorm and I discovered recently... That it would seem exceptionally likely that retrieving this final crystal will involve confronting the kraken in some manner so factor that into your purchasing planning that doesn't change much of my purchase that doesn't change almost any of my purchasing honestly cool smoke bombs versus kraken got it <laughs> eh, smoke bombs more of a general thing i just have a lot of spells Got it. Wait, how many smoke bombs? <laughs> uh, let's do two. And then 10 gold apiece, or 25? Yeah, so 20. Last 20, gotcha. Uh, can you add one more gold for caltrops? How many caltrops? <laughs> it's just a bag of 20. I mean, do you want to get more than that? Because we don't have, like, we're doing, we're doing fine. <laughs> uh, th three. Because I'm not likely to pick them up gold. if I'm using them. Plus three gold. All right. Uh, did you want to get another crowbar, you said? Yes, just to be safe in case we somehow lose it. How much is that? Ah, no! To search up crowbar, all I did was type in crow. Uh, two gold. That's a lot cheaper than I thought it was. I thought it was 25 for some reason. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, Jeff, how much would it cost to restock supplies for the brewer's cat? Just 
we lose Jeff again? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> What's up? Hey! <laughs> uh, how much would it cost to restock supplies for the brewer's kit? Oh, I'm just gonna say like 20 gold. 20! Cool! Yeah, can you spot me? Yeah! Um. Uh. Did you wanna get another grappling hook or were you fine with just the one that Nutja has? Oh, I think no ch I think one is enough. Okay. Um, what else did I type out? The lantern. Oh yeah, the hood lantern. So I don't want to be shining like a fucking beacon. <laughs> Are we all actually splitting up the ball bearings? Whatever. Girl, I'll I'm take just... a thousand ball bearings. He'll do something. With them. What is he gonna do with them? I mean, I kind of like the load them into a cannon idea. Oh, okay, that was better than the way I, I thought. I have a terrible what did you think? Read a spell description. We'll talk about it later. Five gold for a hooded lantern. Five. Cool, cool, cool. Um, um, Jeff, you said rations were a good idea. How many should we get? However many you want. Oh, Should we get yeah. enough for the entire crew? Mm. Or is that assumed? I would hope. Yeah. I'm going to say this. <laughs> but, like, yeah. okay. So the crew's assumed, so we want to get enough to, like, cover our trip off the ship? Because we're probably going to have to, like, explore the frozen south or something. Yeah. I can also make good did... berries. Oh, that's true. Never mind. <laughs> Gor Gorm can make food. That's true. Um... He can make, I think, yeah, he, but he can make 200 pounds of flavorless food and water a day, and then we can press the digitate some salt. Right. We'll be fine. Never mind. <laughs> but what, but what, I, I, was, what I was going to say, oh, and sorry, make, sorry, you, no, you were going to say uh, I can make berries. 10 good berries with one spell, take a nap, and I'm fine, and they last all day. So, oh, Gorm sweet. can make 200 ice cream sundaes, and Dahlia can put 10 cherries on top. Yeah. <laughs> 200 pounds of ice cream sundaes. <laughs> right, let's get this party started. Uh, uh, I was gonna. The one idea I had for curbing food was that we install, you know, like a net and harpoon onto the ship and try to oh, yeah. catch shit. I mean, it's just an idea. I don't know if it's reasonable or even if that equipment's available. We might not even have the space. It was. It was just an idea for how do we survive in the Arctic? Well, I mean, that's oh, what no. they did. It's probably a good idea to, if we can, install heating, right? We have to, should we do that? Is that something we can? Yeah, if you want to take a, a, a day or probably like three days or so to get like uh, heat lines running through. But that's not mm -hmm. like a shopping trip. That's like a going back and talking to. A the ship, right? Of yeah, Out of like curiosity, it. because Dahlia would know this information, even though I don't. Um, <laughs> is there ice that we would have to try and get through up in that general direction? Yes. Do we have a mechanism on our ship to plow through ice? No, you'd want to buy an icebreaker. Right! All right. Oh, sweet, so we do have to make bombs. <laughs> See, Dahlia would okay. bring this up because he knows ships. <laughs> I'm so glad we have a druid for this part of the game. <laughs> I'm so glad uh, that I know shit about ships and ocean voyages. You'd have to specially reinforce the hull with an icebreaker. This will cost you a thousand gold. That's not so bad. That's fine. The I heating will add, line is just for comfort. That'll be like 500 gold. Okay, I'll add 1500 to the list. <laughs> Does anyone yeah. need like... Guys. Now we, we don't to... have to go out onto the ice with picks and going chunk, chunk, chunk to try to get the ship through it. We need ice... to make I sure... think at one point someone pitched the idea of tying one of the spellcasters to the front and just having them fireball the icebergs. <laughs> I <laughs> think that was back when we had Talon, though. <laughs> Does anyone need, like, blocks of incense or no? Uh, um, I mean, yeah, it could be yeah. fun. The hey. icebreaker will also, uh... In the event of you you doing a ram attack, 
the damage that gets reflected back onto you is now reduced by half. Ooh, we should have had this the whole time. <laughs> For all those ram attacks you guys do. Well, you never know. Um. <clears throat> okay. Uh, anything else? Oh, potions. We each need a potion at least. Each have one at least. How much does yeah, the icebreaker cost? Any. That was one thousand. Oh, okay. I missed that. Actually, I have to track that total because that's not going to be discounted. It's two separate. Just so I don't forget. Um. Does Weatherby's Weatherby's only has like the basic healing potions? Yes. Okay. <laughs> one of those for everybody. Sure. I have two of them already. Oh! Uh, I have none! I think Nochi might have one, actually. I have zero. Nochi does have... <clears throat> oh! Friend has one. Friend would probably give that one to somebody. Um, we also, I think, in the bag of holding have one potion of cold resistance from a million years ago <laughs> <laughs> is it just like a bottle of whiskey <laughs> uh, it's it's something that big guy potion guy made for us best before january 1980 it'll be <laughs> fine <laughs> big eye potion guy I feel like that could be riffed into the build die theme. That was the whole point. <laughs> Dude, there's just this awesome Gothic children show that they're running in this <laughs> world. Uh, what there's... children show? That's the guy. Is, he's right? a Gothic and he's a whole creepy giant oh. guy. I don't know what Gothic is. All right, so who doesn't have a potion? I Yo. Uh, Nav doesn't have, I, one. Doesn't have one. I I would have sworn Gorm had a potion, but I don't see it on his sheet. Well, Gorm also, like, almost died in Yakutoma, so he might have used it. Nope, uh, he just went straight from being super healthy to being on the floor. It was a really <laughs> bad round. Oh, man. All right. So oh, Gorm God, that was rough. Uh, does Adversity have one? And does Gloria have one? Out of character, Glory doesn't have any potions. Um, Friend would probably give their potion to Gloria. That makes the most sense. Friend's potion is a greater healing potion. Adversity does not have a potion, and nor does Flissa. Okay, yeah, I was. was Alright, so Flissa, Adversity, <laughs> Mev, and Gorm, and Dahlia. Yep. That's five healing potions. And they're 50 apiece? Yes. Ooh, I have good memory this time. <laughs> okay, and is that all we need from Weatherby's that we can think of? Link established. My gone. I think so. Alright, that's a whole 485 gold. Uh, that's not that bad. No, it's really good, actually. Um, let's see who this man is. Oh, last call. Anything we need from one of these? I don't think so. Okay. Um, so. Alright, so we're sitting on 70,158 if we get the ship upgrades as well. That's not bad. We're still doing real good. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so I guess. I mean, in in game, we just walked back to the ship with a bunch of cool weatherby stuff, <laughs> and we'd have to. Um, bring the ship somewhere to get the other stuff done? Or is it good where it is? <laughs> every time! Every time! <laughs> Sorry, I just that last bit. Uh, so, like, we could only get the Weatherby stuff, like, just this second. Will we have to, like, take the ship somewhere to get the improvements done? You can get that done in m &S where they have uh, facilities for it. But it'll just take you three days to get that completed. Is that... Are we good with that? Works. I don't, I don't see why not. We need that icebreaker. Yeah. We might as well get the other stuff, too, while we're at it. Jeff, do we still need to hand in the bounty? That has not been I, done yet. I added the bounty to the ship already. I think we yeah, need to we already add it. it. Yeah, don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, at the end of last week. I, I figured it was assumed that once we got here, that was the first thing yeah. we did. I think we were just worried about forgetting. Let's make sure somebody called it out. Um, I imagine that you guys, like, eventually realized about the bounty, and you, like, head to the office, and, like, Gloria's already there doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you need anything from out in the shops at all? I already took care of myself. My grandma went shopping alone. Yeah. I mean, I don't really blame her. <laughs> Ooh! Um, we had discussed the possibility of getting some improvements to the ship. Then done. Get them done. Great! You guys do that. I'm going to go tell Zheng Fei that I need three more days worth of darkness scrolls. <laughs> okay. No tray runs off. <laughs> Dahlia is her shadow. Well, I guess let's go to the <laughs> shipmaster. Is that where we go? Yeah, you're able to to get to the. Uh... Basically, you got to put it in dry dock for a while. <laughs> Can we put well, it in okay, dry? You're able to get. You're able to get it welded and sorted out, and there's like you threw a bit of money around. There's crews going like pretty much all night. Huh. Oh shit! Zhangfei was able to get nine potions, nine uh, scrolls of darkness. Woohoo! How much did that cost, by the way? <laughs> I believe it was eighty gold per scroll. I think that she has that. So let's double check. Um, mm, um mm. <laughs> I do, but it's like all the money I have, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> also, don't forget about Guppy's secret project. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was gonna go over and drop that money off but before, you know, we headed off. Do we only have 30,000 gold left? Yeah, but do we want to give it all or do we want to have like kind of a like a, a safety net <laughs> for us. I mean, I mean, how much gold do we have right now? We have 70,000 and a little change. We should probably just give it. Okay. I mean, just I mean that's up to Gloria. We'll probably but... be done with it by the time we can come back. And Jeff said something about, like, if they reach a point where they're done and they don't have enough money, like, that's bad. You've already reached the point where that project is stalled out. Oh. You can make no further progress without uh, more funding. Well, we can just then just drop it all. 
I will play stirring music to the workers as they work on the boat. <laughs> because I officially um, have nothing better to do. It's one of those things that are now trap with round-the-clock Christmas songs. Oh, I was just gonna oh play God. various different sea shanties oh, no. and things. Um, the only other thing that I had for Dolly to do in port while we're here is, one, he's gonna go back to... Uh, uh, my brain just shut off, and I don't remember the name. Manticore! <laughs> and retrieve the letter that he had left for Noche. <laughs> and just kind of quietly slips it back into his pocket and walks away. All right. And then he tries to find odd jobs to make some money for himself. Probably involving things to do with ships, because that's what he has skills in. You can put yourself to work, like, uh, either overseeing or helping out with the installation of the icebreaker and the would heating lines on the ship. Would that get him money, though? Or is it just, like... If, if they want to... If you ask for money, I'm sure the crew would pay you. Yeah, he's just looking to get some more pocket change for himself. Yeah. Sure, he'll go do that. Okay. When I one got of us rid of all my electrum, and now, now I have enough money to get those scrolls. It's just in terms of stretching it, it'll be like a week. I'll just round it up to like a week's pay, but like a week's pay for like skilled labor is still ten gold. Oof. That's fine. It's something. It's better than he gets on the party table, so he shouldn't complain. <laughs> um, on the party table, he loses that ten gold. <laughs> oh no. Alright. I have... Pocket change. Oh god, I have so many sheets open, these ball bearings could land anywhere. <laughs> Oh yeah, Ryan, in case you missed it, anyone who didn't have a potion now has oh, a regular potion. I should add that to my sheet. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. And Gloria has a greater from friend. A single regular potion? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we could go back and get more if you want, but that we just did one for everyone who didn't have one. Nah, I was just making sure. Is uh, Mev getting sensitive to light at all or no? <laughs> Good question. No. Okay. That reminds me, I have funny Kasaya is gonna approach Mev with some garlic. Does it smell good to you? Uh, I mean, maybe on some bread. Garlic alone? Not really, but maybe on some bread? Like garlic bread? Garlic bread? I'm an garlic idiot. Bread. I have a potion of greater healing in my stores, apparently. Well, now you have a potion of regular healing also. It's fine. I'll probably end up force feeding it to someone else anyway. Now I'm paranoid and I'm looking over my sheet again. I also have an elixir of health and a potion of resistance to cold. Oh, that's where that is! <laughs> I have that, apparently. It's a one from forever. I don't know what the elixir of health does. I think it just like depoisons you or something. I was, saying, I was never, I never received a description of that. I can do that by high fiving someone. I mean, same, but you know. Huh? Wait. Is it would help if I actually typed on the right thing? I should take off. How much do we owe Guppy for the thing? 40,000. Oh, is it 40,000 or 30,000? It is currently 40,000. Oh, okay. I lost track of where it was on the map, so... <laughs> for we some... Like go over there to give it to her, though, right? Yeah. For some reason, I thought the total was 40k and we already paid 10k. I don't know.
I think it was 50k and we paid 10k. Yeah, it's... that sounds right. Mm. I was thinking about buying a whip just in case we need to try and get something within like <laughs> 10 feet that we can't reach, but I hear I hear all those snickers, Erica. <laughs> I had myself on mute. I was also giggling. Is there somewhere here that we can get fancy weapons made? Or is that not an ominous thing? That's not an ominous thing. All right. You can get fancy guns. I'm just going to keep the shotgun I have. So all you got a super fancy staff for super cheap. Yay. So we spend three days in Amonesser getting upgrades, and then we go over to Fort Halifax and drop off money. Yeah, you just back a dump truck full of money up at Halifax. <laughs> um, so... Like Guppy's just there, hey guys, what are you... And then just an avalanche of money hits her. Ah! <laughs> Thanks. At, and then you drive back off. <laughs> Well, at Fort Halifax, do we have to, is that where we're offloading friend or did that plan change? Um I mean, does does it matter where friend gets off, Jeff, or No, nope, wherever he thinks it'd be easier for him to go. I will wait here. Yes, I actually received a summons in Amanesser. But this is fine. Okay. <laughs> no, really, it's. I will make my way as I always do. Thank you for all that you've done. I wish I could have done more, but. Don't we all? Pleasure being here. I, um... When all this is over, you should totally come to... You should totally come to my family's city and we'll have a big party. In Valua? E when this is over and hopefully <laughs> when the ruling person changes. What's, uh, Nev's family city? I don't fucking know. I just said it was a city and I <laughs> thought you would give me the name of a city. He's from real Otago. <laughs> It's just all the people from Chicago, <laughs> but the changeling version. Oh my <laughs> god, that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I gave Jeff the name for my city. Oh my god, Bev is from Nibelheim. <laughs> it's the city ha! itself is a changeling. All the buildings are changelings. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 they're not either. changelings, they're mimics. The buildings oh are my mimics! God. Oh my god, we can get our mimic there! Oh my god! <laughs> Um, Dahlia sidles up to a friend just as they're about to leave. Friend, can I buy your room stuff off of you? Wait, what? Your friend, your family, your fancy pillow fort. Oh, oh, that is staying behind. Yes, please take it. That's my room now. <laughs> he goes and puts his name on that door. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> He's been on the ship this whole time, not had a room. He's been staying in the crow's nest. He's taking friend's room. <laughs> It's already made already up. Made. There was room for you. Why didn't you just take a room? I didn't know if I was allowed to or not. I mean, there was that one room that was empty so long. I didn't know. <laughs> it said officer's quarters. I didn't know if I was considered an officer. We don't really tell people when they're officers, do we? No. <laughs> We're very cagey in general. Says the girl who goes and does rituals in a cage. Look, that was a joke. Anyway. See, this is my joking uh, face. Gor Gor Gorm will give friend a bottle of the Moon Brew. I think we decided was the name. That's uh, the best name. <laughs> thank you for coming with us. I'm sorry that some of your time was spent trapped in your thing. I had time to reflect. Hey! <laughs> Inspiration. That is Mev Please. in the game. <laughs> That's pun number two! And then the Fred jumps on a zip line and he flies off the ship and is never seen again. <laughs> Does anyone want to ask Fred for the rig warming in the last minute? 
The what? what? Oh, the what? ticket? I don't have a ring. I... Gosh, friend, what a lovely ring on your hand. <laughs> Could I have that, please? <laughs> Not me. Friend will, like, think about it. Because, like, it's cold compared to Ixitaka everywhere else in the world. <laughs> He's covered in fur. That is true. And you are small and need protection. So. Even I'm a it's... flesh baby. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I would not describe it so, but if you would. <laughs> Jeff, are we actually rolling with Real Mpaga being Mev City? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> if if you wanna, like, we sure. Can make up if you'd like. Let's go. I don't care. It's fine. It makes it even more funny that she was impersonating Slick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever see the movie Us? Yes. Sounds it's familiar. it's that. <laughs> Friend will give the ring to Castalia and then immediately shiver. <laughs> And like pull their cloak around them closer. <laughs> oh no, I feel bad. Take it back. Uh, this will take some getting used to, but I will be fine. Uh, no, please take it back. Now I feel bad. You are going to a frozen wasteland. No, but you're chilly. <laughs> I will be fine. I know yeah. that. May I take back a few of the curtains in that room? Oh yeah. Wrap themselves in gorgeous curtains. <laughs> they look amazing. They look amazing. <laughs> the <other way>. <laughs> it's okay, that Castalia. Was said... You can make it your quest to deliver it back to friend after. Oh yeah, I will do that. That was said in such perfect sync. It sounded like we had twin voices for a moment there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of creepy. Mev will give friend a hug. Now in stereo! <laughs> I too am from L Realm Paga. Mev will give friend a hug before he leaves. Uh, they I will leave. also give friend the hug. A friend will pat Mev awkwardly on the back. <laughs> I remember their introduction. <laughs> yep! <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia just kind of awkwardly stands to the side, kind of shifting a little bit, like, should I hug? Should I not hug? I stand here and let friend decide. Friend's tail curls around the back of Dahlia's knee. Hug. <laughs> <laughs> um, friend will also, here, I'm gonna roll for this, yeah! <laughs> Terrible! Um, well, uh, friend tries to slip two sticks of dynamite into Dahlia's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's wet <weird>. ones. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> Just regular ones. Just want friend to go out like Bugs Bunny. That'd be amazing. <laughs> is that dynamite, or are you just happy to see me? It is dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone been teaching the Tabaxi on our ship common? They know basic phrases. Ship-related phrases. I do not know many ship-related phrases, but I taught them all the ones I did. Bliss is deep to give a hug as well. This will be an adventure. This is hilarious because friend lo knows literally nothing about ships, <laughs> but would have tried <laughs> to teach it to Boxy, basically. <laughs> This is also hilarious because Jeff wanted this a is... short game, and we're back, and we're already at eleven thirty. <laughs> I'm hoping to, to end it up pretty fast. Yeah. My goal was before midnight, so. When has that ever happened? Tonight, maybe. Anything else anybody wants to do? Uh, nope. nope. I already did the thing that I was going to do. Uh, just for reference, X, mm -hmm. uh, where, like, you just pick a city here or just pick a country at least. Where is friend going? 
Um, I imagined that their order was based somewhere in, um, well, they found Friend in the Jade Empire, so I imagine that they were, the order was based in the Jade Empire. So, oh, the uh... The Bloodhunters are based out of, uh, uh, Saxony. Oh, all of them? I thought there were, okay. Oh, there's, there's, like, cells, there's, there's various, like, uh, divisions. Um, yeah, I but... think they're... Whatever division they would be heading back to would probably be, um, let's just say it's in Xi'an, because <laughs> that's a big dot. <laughs> All right, making sure. Myself sad. I don't know why I needed to decide that, and now I'm concerned. <laughs> no, just in the case of like, hey, well, where's friend gonna be? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. There's probably ships that come up from there and friend can yeah. catch a ride. I just need to know if you're in the city that was going to explode. <laughs> I mean, uh... No! <laughs> Did I touch the bad hex? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, if nobody has anything else going on, we'll probably call it there for tonight. Yay. We don't leave uh, off with so the Kraken the next... beaching us. Does the next session start with us sailing for the Purple Continent? Yes. Remind oh, me right. that I want to look for more stuff in the ocean. Hmm. I wish that I could swim faster. I going? could swim next to the ship and keep looking myself, but I don't think I can keep up with the ship. Are we um going straight to the Purple Continent, or are we like stopping off? somewhere first like my <laughs> assumption has been to go to the place that deals with those expeditions for maybe advice from experts but like i don't know if that's wrong <laughs> where was that at uh <sighs> that was the closest place yeah Is... so we can have that be our jumping off point so that's a that's a place that that expeditions to the Purple Continent usually start from or have started yeah, that's, from the That's the southernmost point of civilization, basically. Maybe we should ask if they have outposts in, like, the Purple Moonland. Keep wanting to make the same things. So, alright. So are we gonna go through, like, Twin Cities, Kai Song, and then, I mean, we don't have to stop in each of those places, but like, is that our route to go around that way? Or the other way? The the Twin Cities route is, I, I just have a quick explanation, it's like two days faster. Okay. But it's through a Valowin controlled strait. They might right. have like a military presence there. Well, going around the long way is probably safer. I mean, you, you, you never run into dragons in the Sea of Dragons at all. I mean, they're, they're pretty reclusive. <laughs> we did fine with our last couple dragons. <laughs> I mean, it's also, not like all the dragons were there. So. Also, that's the, the Saxony flag there, and they like us. Or they owe us, at least. We still never use that favor. <laughs> yeah, we might have to if there's dragons or something. <laughs> we'll see. So the long way around, sure. I'll put a little marker to show that you, that's the way you guys want to go. And you're departing from Port Halifax. All right, I think I have all my stuff. <gasps> all right, thank you guys for the, the short session here. Thanks for GMing it. Mm. Uh, next session, we'll start right off with the uh, horrible, deadly journey to Antarctica. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay. How many husky we bring? Oh, you can summon eight. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. If uh, I summon it eight. at a bigger 
Ooh, wait. If I summon them at a higher spell level, I can summon 16. We have enough All for right. two teams. <laughs> nice. We need enough for everybody to eat. Oh, did we buy sleds? We need to buy sleds. <laughs> huh. Uh, who all took a bag of ball bearings? Uh, Gorm did. And he also took, was it just a potion of health? Or was it just a potion of health or a potion of greater health that we bought? Uh, Gorm's was a regular one. I think only, yeah, only Gloria got the greater one because Brent gave it to her. <laughs> Sparks, did you want to say that you completed your infiltration mission so that you have the stuff. What? <laughs> you wanted you wanted in Gloria's room and you would have had the opportunity yes! to do so. Oh my gosh. That reminds me. I'm gonna pick the lock in Gloria's room. You know, you do it whenever I said would be a good time and guess what? The door's unlocked. Ooh. Cool, I'm gonna sneak in there and look at those notes on her desk. Uh, so you find, like, it looks like half of what used to be there, but the really thick one is still there. There are two letters. One seems to ha it's addressed to Flissa, and it's been sealed and unsealed and sealed again. And the other one is addressed to Castalia, and it's the really, like, thicker one it hasn't been unsealed since it was sealed oh my goodness intrigue i'm gonna oh, tuck them in my pocket are you just gonna take them okay <laughs> oh no you need a one yeah of course <laughs> all right i'll send those to you She's only level ro one in Rogue. She doesn't know how to sneak, right? <laughs> this is where Castalia falls off the ship in the next episode and the letters are lost. Oh no! And no one ever sees them. Where are you on my list? Oh, there you are. <laughs> hey, just in time for Christmas, we all get to imagine our characters in giant puffy winter clothes. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Outfit yeah. change. Make also, it. also it's the Sparks. reverse each episode. <laughs> Dolly is gonna look horrified when they get there because he wears short shorts, guys. <laughs> Sparks, if the fancy font is hard to read, I can change it for you. Recorded ending, right, Ryan? Oh, hey, I should stop the recording. <laughs> I forgot I was recording for a moment. <laughs> oh, boy.